Kia ora, I'm David Chastain with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news food price signals belie talk of impending trouble. But first, US mortgage applications were virtually unchanged last week from the week before, taking them to 13% lower than the same week a year ago. And new home sales in the US sank 11% in May from April to be 16% lower than the same month a year ago as high prices and those still high mortgage rates continue to weigh on buyers' decisions. It is the lowest reading in six months and well below what was expected. In Japan, the current focus is on the yen's falling exchange rate, especially to the US dollar. But while policymakers there say they are watching with concern, interventions so far have been modest and ineffective. In India, their currency is unusually stable and not something we've seen for more than 15 years. In China, the Beijing officials controlling the yuan have allowed it to sink a bit faster recently and is almost back to its modern, most weakest levels of mid-2023. In Australia, their monthly inflation indicator for May edged up to 4% from 3.6% in April, boosting the chance of another RBA rate rise as underlying price pressures clearly remain entrenched. We should perhaps note that prices for some of the world's key agricultural commodities are struggling, mainly because of good growing conditions that are delivering strong supply. The corn price is down to where it first was in 1996, and the bubble that started in 2020 is now all erased. Similarly for oats, which are now down to 1988 levels, and the rice price, which is still highish, but it's still below 2008 levels. And canola is also a major traded food export that has extinguished its recent bubble. Wheat is in the same boat, back to price levels it first hit in 1996. The world's food supply and price is currently no threat to availability or affordability issues. However, despite all this, some still see food wars as a future risk, but that may just be a Singaporean trader talking his own book. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 4.32% and up 9 basis points from this time yesterday. The price of gold will start today down $18 at $2,301 an ounce. And oil prices a little change from yesterday at just over $81 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price just under $85 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today down nearly a half a cent from yesterday at just under 60.8 US cents. Against the Aussie, we're down even more at 91.4 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're down a quarter cent at 56.9 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today down 30 basis points at 70.5. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Tomorrow is a public holiday in New Zealand, Matariki. However, we will be publishing on our normal weekend schedule on Saturday and Sunday. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again on Monday.